guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how you can um, get the weather data by using an API in Python. So the first step is that you have an API from this open weather map website. So I will recommend you to sign in first if you don't already have an account. So I have signed in in my account and now we will go to this API and then we will go to the subscribe button and then we will see which plan you want. So I want the free plan. So we will click on this, get API key and then on this API keys. So here will be your API key that you are going to be using. This is mine and yours will be different. So we will just copy paste it for now. Now let's go to now let's go back to Python and see a code. Now we are back to Python and the first step is to install the library that is needed and the library that is needed is the pyom library. So we will write pip install pyom. So now I'm going to run this. For me it's going to show requirements already satisfied as I have already installed this library but for you it is going to be different if you have not already installed this. So let's import the OWM function from the Python library. So from Python import OWM. So now we are going to be creating a variable where we are going to be storing our API key. So I will just call it OWM uh, and then I will, we will use this function. And here we will give the API key that I just copy pasted. So I will just copy paste it here. Now we are going to create another variable called MGR, which I think stands for manager. So in this we are writing OWM. It's not the function, it's the it's the variable here. It's not the function. Dot weather manager. So I, this is a function, dot by the manager, but this is not a function, it's just our API key. So now we're going to be creating another variable called observation. In this variable, I'm going to be storing uh, the, the city and the state name. So the, the state and the country name, I'm sorry, not the city name, dot weather. Dot weather at place and then in this I am going to be storing uh, input enter the city enter the city name and the country name So I will be um, writing my city or country so I can not get the value of any city or country in the world. So now I will create another variable called W and this I will store observation dot weather. So now that we have done this, we are going to be printing all the details we want of our all the all the things we want to know. So we will be printing uh, detailed status of the country, of the weather of the country, the state. Then we will be printing the wind. And then we will be printing the humidity. And then we will print the temperature. And in the unit uh, Celsius, because I don't know, because uh, I don't know Fahrenheit or anything. So Celsius. Um, 
And now we will print rain, if there is any chance of rain. And print heat index. And then last but not least, print if there are clouds. So now when we have written all of this information, we will be running this program and if it runs right, it is first going to ask us the city and the country name and then it's going to give us all the details. So let's run this. Okay, so it is asking me the city and country name. Um, I want to know the weather of the city I'm living in. So Lilio. In Sweden, so SE. Okay, so now I'm getting an error. Let's see what the error is. Uh, unable to find resources. Okay, so I saw what the error was. I was not giving a comma. So let me run it again. And now this time we will give a comma. So Julio, comma SE Sweden. And now it is giving me the correct answer. So the detailed status is it's clear sky, the wind is this much, the humidity is this much, the temperature is this much, rain is, I guess, none, and heat is none, and clouds are none. So let me just check if this temperature is correct with the temperature that is now on my phone on the weather app. So let me see. It is correct. It is the correct temperature. So this was the tutorial and thank you so much for watching. All the links will be in the description box. So don't forget to check that and my code will also be there. Thank you for watching.